All persons having business before the Honorable, the Supreme Court of the United States are admonished to draw near and give their attention. Number 759, Ernest Miranda, Petitioner versus Arizona. We'll hear arguments, number 18, Roe against Wade. Marbury and Madison is probably the most famous case this court ever decided. Dred and Harriet existed as enslaved people here on land where slavery wasn't legally recognized. Putting the Brown decision into effect would take presidential orders and the presence of federal troops and marshals and the courage of children. We wanted to pick cases that changed the direction and import of the court in society and that also changed society. So she told them that they'd have to have a search warrant. And Mrs. Mapp demanded to see the paper and to read it, see what it was, which they refused to do, so she grabbed it out of his hand to look at it. And thereafter, the police officer handcuffed her. I can't imagine a better way to bring the Constitution to life than by telling the human stories behind great Supreme Court cases. Fred Korematsu boldly opposed the forced internment of Japanese Americans during World War II. After being convicted for failing to report for relocation, Mr. Korematsu took his case all the way to the Supreme Court. Quite often, and many of our most famous decisions are ones that the court took that were quite unpopular. If you had to pick one freedom that was the most essential to the functioning of a democracy, it has to be freedom of speech. Let's go through a few cases that illustrate very dramatically and visually what it means to live in a society of 310 million different people who help stick together because they believe in a rule of law. Landmark Cases an exploration of 12 historic Supreme Court decisions and the human stories behind them. A new series on C-SPAN, produced in cooperation with the National Constitution Center, debuting Monday, October 5th at 9 p.m. <laughs>